The collapse of Boeing started on January 5, 2024, when the emergency exit door on an Alaska Airlines Boeing 737 MAX opened in the middle of the flight. The plane declared an emergency, oxygen masks fell, screams echoed throughout the cabin, and the sound of engines and rapidly moving air filled the cabin. The pilot and the control room then talked about it, which showed how bad the situation was. Not only was the plane losing height, but the air pressure and oxygen levels were also decreasing. This is why jets make the pressure inside their cabins higher than it really is, and when the doors open, the pressure escapes. The door that fell off Alaska Airlines Flight 1282, which had 177 people and six crew members on board, was able to land safely back at Portland International Airport. Nobody on the ground sustained any injuries. People were curious about how an airplane door from Boeing, which is a big and well-known business, could open in the air, especially since the plane was only two months old. This event made the front page of the newspaper. According to the investigations, the emergency exit door had been replaced in its original place and three nuts and bolts were missing before the plane was delivered. The whole airline business was shocked by this probe report. Is this because Boeing was careless? Boeing used to be a tech company, but now it's a business. So why did a small software error in the Boeing 737 MAX cause two terrible crashes in 2018 and 2019? Despite these events, most people still trusted flying, mainly because they trusted airlines and companies that make airplanes. However, what happened with Alaska Airlines broke people's trust in Boeing. It wasn't the only thing that hurt Boeing's reputation. On October 29, 2018, Lion Air Flight 610 fell not long after taking off from Sukarno Hatta International Airport. It was a Boeing 737 MAX plane. The plane had only been in the air for 13 minutes when it started acting strangely. At first, the nose went down, then it started rising again, and finally, it went nose down again, falling into the Java Sea. There were a total of 189 people on board, but none of them made it out alive. Then, on March 10, 2019, just five months later, Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 crashed not long after taking off from Addis Ababa Bowl International Airport, Ethiopia, bound for Kenya. Only six minutes after takeoff, the plane lost control and crashed near a small town, killing 157 people. The fact that this plane was also a Boeing 737. Max was no fluke. An investigation showed that both planes were acting in very strange ways before the crash. Both aircraft crashed because of a malfunction in the Boeing 737 MAX. We discovered this flaw before understanding how Boeing became so careless. In 1916, William E. Boeing started Boeing as an engineering company that specialized in designing and building rockets, satellites, and airplanes. Boeing's famous age began in 1969 with the Boeing 747, which was known as the Queen of the Skies. This model changed the way people fly in a whole new way. Some people said, if it's not Boeing, I'm not going, which meant they were so sure of Boeing that they wouldn't fly on any other plane. So what happened when people stopped trusting Boeing so much?
This list of accidents involving Boeing planes in 2024 alone shows that the company has been involved in many accidents, big and small. Experts in the field think that 1997 was the start of Boeing's decline. When the Cold War ended between the US and the former Soviet Union in 1990, Boeing's income dropped a lot. This was because Boeing was an engineering company that worked on contracts for the United States military. There's no doubt that the end of the Cold War caused this deal to end. Fearing that their income wasn't going to rise, they bought their competitor, McDonnell Douglas, an aircraft manufacturer for $14 billion and called themselves the undisputed kings of the aviation business. This freedom did not last long, though. In 2003, the European airline company Airbus joined the market to compete with Boeing. When Airbus developed the A320neo in 2010, they took market demand into account. This was a big blow to Boeing. Airbus made its engine extremely fuel efficient so that it could fly further on a single tank of fuel. Because of this, Boeing changed its business plan and went public, paying attention to the gains and losses of its shareholders. In December of that year, when the Airbus sold so well in a week, Boeing fell flat on its face. Boeing had been the leader in this field for a number of years, but it didn't get as many orders as Airbus got this year. Boeing introduced a new plane, the 737 MAX, in 2011. Boeing designed this plane to compete with the A320neo. Boeing was able to keep its reputation in the flight business, but it was the same model that crashed so badly in 2018 and 2019. In fact, Boeing made a big mistake when they were in a hurry to get back some of Airbus's market share. Because Boeing wanted to get this new plane into service quickly, they made the engines use less fuel. However, the large size of these engines necessitated a complete redesign of the plane. That's not what Boeing did. In a hurry, they put these new, bigger engines in planes that were years old. Because of the engine's weight, the next part of the plane became heavier. This meant that the new engine changed the plane's physics, altering the center of gravity. Because of this, the 737 MAX's nose would pitch up in some situations while it was in the air. The Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System is new software that Boeing made to fix this problem. This program used a sensor to determine the plane's angle of attack, which indicates whether the nose was up or down. Without the pilot having to do anything, the program pushed the elevators down to bring the plane's nose back down if it got too high. The old models did not have this new method built in. A business plan typically requires significant time and financial resources to integrate a new system, as it necessitates approval, testing, and pilot training. But because Boeing was in such a hurry, they didn't tell the carriers, the pilots, or even the Federal Aviation Administration, which is in charge of rules. They thought that there was no point in telling pilots or companies if the software could fix the plane on its own. The bad things began to happen at this point. MCAS relied solely on a single sensor, known as the angle of attack sensor. Boeing didn't know what would happen if this monitor stopped working. If this sensor stopped working or gave wrong data for some reason, the plane would start to climb without the pilot's help and they would not be able to stop it. Lion Air Flight 610 and Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 both went through the same thing.
The investigation team attributed both the plane crashes to Boeing's negligence and the Federal Aviation Administration's oversight of standards. As the problem worsened, the aviation industry responded by putting all three 87 Boeing 737 MAX planes around the world on the ground. This story got a lot of attention. Because of this, Boeing's stock price fell sharply and the company lost $20 billion. Aside from that, the court fined the Federal Aviation Administration $2.5 billion for helping Boeing mislead. Boeing's workers were the ones who first told everyone about its lies. People inside the company said that the management was poor. Technicians who worked there shared information with others. In a video from a Boeing plant, the technicians were asked if they would like to fly on Boeing planes. All of the workers who were there said no. After the video came out, there was a lot of fear in the airline business. Factory workers were shocked to discover that they could use old plane parts on new ones. Airlines worldwide had already received these planes and inspected their respective Boeing 737 MAX models. The inspection revealed loose old parts and improperly fitted rivets. We inspected all grounded 737 MAX planes, trained the pilots and made some changes. In November 2020, the planes went back into service. However, Boeing had already acquired a negative reputation. When things looked like they were getting better, something else came up. After retiring, a former Boeing worker became a whistleblower and told the public about wrongdoing at Boeing. John Barnett was a quality control manager at Boeing for 32 years, until 2017. He said that a top manager there placed used hydraulic tubes in planes. Barnett observed numerous instances of reusing old parts in new aircraft. He sent several reports to Boeing's top managers, but they didn't do anything about them. Instead, they put him in a lower role and demoted him. Barnett filed a complaint with the Occupational Safety and Health Administration after he retired in 2017 and showed proof of all the problems at Boeing. Barnett lost this case after four years. He took this case to the higher court and the ruling is still being considered. Along with this, Barnett sued Boeing again in 2024 when the door of Alaska Airlines Boeing 737 MAX opened in the middle of the flight. The court scheduled the third hearing in this case for March 9, 2024. John Barnett couldn't go to court that day, though. Instead, they found him dead in his car. Actually, he told his family before he died that if anything went wrong with him, it wouldn't be suicide. Although the police claim John committed suicide, they are conducting a more thorough investigation due to his connection to a prominent business. Since John Barnett has died, it is still not clear what will happen with the case against Boeing. However, even though Boeing's market value was already going down, the events with Alaska Airlines and the death of John Barnett have made it even worse. Airlines and passengers who lost faith in Boeing might need a few years to rebuild it. Thanks for your nice words on this video.